This is rare, you know? How often do you see this? Hello everyone and welcome to Seeds of the Week! That's our theme tune! Okay, let's just get on with it. Today, um, I'm showcasing two seeds as usual, well it normally is. And um, I'm joined by some people on the thing so you might see them flying around. But anyway, this first seed is um, like a survival island but it's different than all the other survival islands because it's a massive island. It's a, like a massive island. So look, it's only got one tree on it I think, but basically it's like all the other survival islands where it's just got one tree, some sugarcane and some other stuff and then you start building stuff and then you survive on it. But the difference is it's absolutely massive, there's ocean all around, you've got a tiny thing there but just ignore that. But yeah, it's only got one tree on it so it is a survival island I guess you could say. Um, it's massive, but also some people, um, some people might be thinking, ah, oh, that's too big, Tom, you know, you can't do a survival island on that. Well, my second thought for this seed, oh yeah, by the way, the seed is wolf. The seed is wolf with a W, no, with a capital W. So it's a capital W and wolf. It'll be on screen and that is it. So yeah, my second thought for this, if you don't want to do a survival island challenge on it, um, I was thinking you could like fence off around the, sorry I got hiccups, <laughs> you could fence off around the island, um, like just around the shoreline, and turn it into a Hunger Games, because it is like the perfect size for a Hunger Games, you know, it's not too big, it's not too small, maybe get rid of some of these mountains, but yeah, that's, that's a good idea. So anyway, this is Wolf, and um, there's not much else to say, there's a lot of ocean, so if you're not happy with like making this into your survival island thing, then you could, you know, just just make your own survival island off into the distance somewhere, or just adopt one of these, um, what do you call it, islands. There's also a couple of mushroom biomes. This isn't the only one. There is another one somewhere. But yeah, that is wolf. So yeah, just enjoy. Okay, so here we are on the second seed of the week, and this one is 4J Studios. There are no capitals, it's just 4 and then lowercase j and then space and then lowercase studios. But the main thing for this seed is if you come here, what? 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 What is this? What? Okay, here are the coordinates right in the center of the map. And, um, you know, it's an NPC village, but inside this house is... A sporda, sporda, oh, what's a sporda? I mean a spawner, is what I meant to say. Okay, shut up. Yeah, I meant to say spawner. Anyway, um, as you can see, it is a spider spawner, but that does change. It's random for everyone. So some people may generate this world and they get a skeleton spawner. Some people may get a, uh, damn it, what's the other one? <laughs> Zombie spawner. You know, it all depends. It's random. So if you get a spider spawner and you don't want a spider spawner, just start the world again and create a new one with 4J Studios as the seed. But anyway, this is rare, you know, how often do you see this? A spawner inside the building, um, this is on peaceful so you can't actually see him um, by spawning, sorry about that, but yeah, this is pretty cool, so make sure you definitely check this one out. And um, yeah, this will be interesting to live in, you know, you like wake up in the morning, there's like, like a load of spiders just overrun the village. Anyway. I'm done with that point. But it doesn't end there because right after the village, look, you just need to look over into the hills and BAM! You got some big hills! You got some big ass hills right here. Um, here are the coordinates. Abstract mountains is what I call them, isn't it? So yeah, let's just say that. Abstract mountain range. And this map is actually really good for abstract mountains. I cannot talk today. Um, so yeah, look over here as well. See. The thing is, you guys don't get like a good view when I'm flying, I don't think. You need to like walk on the floor to really understand the awesomeness of this. I mean, look how much better it looks when you're like lower down, if you know what I mean. Giggity, that's what she's here. <laughs> okay. So anyway, yeah, here are the abstract mountains. As you can see, it's like basically like the whole of the top of the map. So yeah, definitely check. And look, they keep on going. 
So this is definitely worth getting on. You know, make a survival game on it, bring your friends, play on it. It's just, it's just fun. And you've got an NPC village with that weird thing in it as well. So how good is that, right? So yeah. Right here we've got more abstract mountains because it is an extreme hills biome. And the sun is setting. Great, I'll probably have to sleep. Also in this biome you have snow biomes. Damn it, I didn't mean to say that. Also in this sea you also have snow biomes as well, I meant to say. It's really not going well for me today. Anyway, and in the corner of the map you have another um, a section of an extreme hill biome. Here are the coordinates. Um, yeah, I'm flashing the coordinates in your face throughout the video so you guys know where everything is when you decide to play it. So, yeah, it's just interesting, you know. Oh lord, it is past my bedtime. Me, 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 me. Wow, who sleeps like that? Good morning, guys. Nice seeing you. Did you enjoy your sleep? I did. Not only is there an extreme hill biome, a forest biome, a snow biome, but there's also a swamp biome as well. So here is the swamp biome at these coordinates. And we all know how much we love swamp biomes, right? But there is not just one extreme hills biome, there are two extreme hills biomes. So going back to the spider spawner, see, so look, here we are. I said, look off into the distance and you'll see another mountain. But if you look off into that way, there's some more mountains. So this um, village is just like the perfect place to live, you know, you just live here. Um, mountains outside, mountains outside, places to explore. You got a swamp biome over there. It's just, it's just great. So right here, we have an above surface ravine. It's not that big. It really isn't. It's actually really small. So yeah. But if you want to see that, then check this out. Coordinates. Boom. And um, also we have a nice mountain there as well. That's a pretty cool mountain with a nice waterfall. Um, I just love the structure. I don't know why. Oh, and another open surface ravine. It's a short and fat one. It's not very tall, doesn't really lead anywhere, um, but oh that might lead somewhere, oh maybe it does, coordinates, go explore it, ooh, ooh, okay, <laughs> anyway, continuing on, there are more extreme hills, um, I don't know about you guys, but I really like extreme hills, I don't know why, like, why wouldn't you, it just, it looks really good, and um, I can just imagine building a really nice house, you know, settling down, having some kids, you know, and stuff like that, so yeah, just live here, here are the coordinates, massive extreme hill biome, extreme hills biome, and a brown sheep, and a pink sheep, look, look at the pink sheep, you're not a pink sheep, dun dun dun. Also here we have a plains biome, if you guys don't know what your biomes are then you should definitely, um, definitely start learning, because this is a plains biome, basically it's a grassy biome, um, it's quite flat normally. Let's see, look, the hills aren't very high, and um, also it has a lot of long grass as well. So, yeah, this is a hills, um, a plains biome. Also mixed in with like a river, and then the river like fades it away. Oh, you know what I mean? It just looks cool, okay? Here's the other plains biome. Really nice plains biome. You can build like all kinds of stuff here because it is quite flat. And um, I think that's it for this map. So, yeah, definitely check this out. Very rare. A spawner inside a villager house. That is very rare, don't even deny it, that is rare. So anyway, thanks a lot for watching Seeds of the Week. I'm sorry I am kind of in a rush today, that's why the video isn't that long. And I would have done another seed, but I simply don't have time. But anyway, I've done my best, I really hope you've enjoyed. And um, make sure you comment in the sh- uh, <laughs> Oh my god, I almost said section. Wow, I don't have a list, by the way. Um, anyway, comment in the section below now if you do have a very good seed that you want to share with everyone and I might showcase it on the next Seeds of the Week video. So let me know in the comment section below. And guys, make sure you like, thumbs up the, um, the seed that you want to get showcased the most. So you know, if you guys all know a good seed and someone says it, thumbs up his comment, and I'll have more of a chance of seeing it. And um, yeah, so definitely do that. Thanks a lot for watching again. This has been Tom. From the Frog Squad, remember to like the video, favorite the video, share the video, comment in the video, subscribe, and um, all that good stuff if you want to become a hashtag true frog, because you true frogs are the best, I don't know where I'm going with this. Anyway, I'll probably just end it now. So, yeah, I'll see you next time, frogs. Now you hang up.